I'm very mad. You'd be mad too if a truck crashed into your house. This happened on Southeast 136th and Francis around 5 o'clock. Eugene Jimenez was in his dining room when he saw headlights coming straight at him. Fortunately, he wasn't hurt. I the surprise the truck coming and say, oh my God. And the house make a boom like this. So say, never, no more Eugene. <laughs> Police say the truck was stolen. No need to tell Talon Hoiker. I woke up to go to the dentist and it wasn't in my driveway. He owns the Ford F-250 diesel. Casper the White Ghost. That's it. Hoiker says a friend spotted his stolen truck near Fred Meyer on Southeast 148th and Division. Hoiker found it there in the store's parking lot. And I uh, approached the guys and, uh, and then it was a chase. Passenger leaned out the window and shot back towards me. It was scary. I've never been shot at before. And I assume nobody's ever driven your truck into a house before. No, nope, nope, no one's ever even driven my truck. Hoiker called 911. I should have called the cops first. Police activated CERT and set up a perimeter near where the truck crashed. Investigators say the armed suspect had run away. The guy was short, 5'10", skinny looking dude. Officers asked neighbors to shelter in place while they look for him. It's unfortunate if they weren't able to access their house. It really is for their safety. Hoiker calls the whole day unfortunate. I feel bad for the owner of this house. It wasn't, it shouldn't have, this shouldn't have happened. They say, thank you, my God, because I live another more time. Everyone was very lucky tonight. Again, police described the suspect as a white man in his 20s, thin build. He was wearing a long sleeved gray shirt and blue jeans. If you see someone in that, in this area matching that description, you're asked to call 911. Dan and Laurel, back to you. All right.